A Blue Ridge ductless mini split is one of the most efficient ways to heat and cool your home. They're a perfect choice for additions, garages, or rooms where ductwork isn't available. Mini splits are energy efficient, quiet, and easy to install. The mini split is comprised of two units the indoor air handler and the outdoor condenser. The components are connected by copper tubing, which allows a necessary refrigerant to circulate. A handheld remote gives you thermostatic control over the system. Before you begin installation, make sure you have all the parts you need according to the installation manual. Inspect the various components to ensure there are no defects before installation work begins. You can complete the majority of the installation yourself. However, the last 10% of the work should be completed by a trained professional. Proper installation is crucial to achieving maximum performance and energy savings the unit can produce. It's essential to carefully read the Blue Ridge Owner's Manual, paying particular attention to safety precautions and procedures before you start. Ensure you have the right tools for the job. Standard tools needed include the following, adjustable wrench, torque wrench, hex keys or Allen wrenches, a drill and drill bits, a hole saw, a utility knife, a wire cutter and stripper, Phillips and flat blade screwdrivers, a level, safety glasses, and work gloves. Your professional installer should bring the rest of the required tools including manifold gauges, vacuum pump, flaring tool, and a dry nitrogen tank with regulator. To begin installation, choose a spot on the wall surface where you'd like the unit to be secured. Location should be free of obstructions near the air inlet and outlet, and should be at least six feet from the floor. Refer to the manual for more tips on choosing a location. Remove the wall bracket from the back of the mini split indoor air handler. Hold the bracket in place, use a level to ensure it is horizontally level, then mark the screw holes with a pencil. Drill the marked holes to create a pilot hole and use appropriate sized self-tapping screws with anchors to affix the wall mounting frame. Finally, check to ensure the wall mounting frame is firmly attached by pulling on it. Now you will create a hole in the wall to allow refrigerant lines, control wires, and condensation drain tube to go outside. The hole is usually two and a half to three inches. Using a hole saw bit, drill the hole, making sure to angle downward to the outside for proper condensate drainage. The wall mounted air handler ships with the refrigerant piping on the right and the drain tube on the left, but can be configured to your particular application. In this case, we will move the condensate drain tube from the left to the right. This requires removing the outer cover of the air handler. Open the service hatch and remove the four screws across the front and the fifth screw in the center bottom. Turn the unit over and release the four locking tabs. Carefully lift off the cover and turn the unit over to expose the drain connection. Unfasten the retaining clip for the drain hose and remove the drain hose. Next, locate the rubber drain plug on the right side, remove it, and use it to plug the left side drain. Replace the hose on the right side drain and fasten the retaining clip. Prepare to install the control wire by removing the wire cover and wiring clip. Push the color-coded multi-conductor wire through the inlet hole on the back of the air handler and pull a few inches through the front. Leave the cover open you will make the wiring connections later. Now carefully unfold the refrigerant pipe, making sure not to crimp the copper tube in the process. Bundle the control wire, refrigerant lines, and drain tubing together with electrical tape to make sure it'll fit easily through the wall. An installation support bracket is an optional tool that helps by acting as a second set of hands holding the air handler in place while you make the inside connections and prepare to mount the unit. Lift the unit into place and carefully pass the bundled pipes and wires through the wall opening. Place the air handler on the wall mount, making sure it is firmly secured and your refrigerant line, condensate tube, and electrical cables are completely through the wall. Now you can make the multi-conductor wire connections. After cutting the length and stripping the wire, make the connections using a screwdriver. Replace the wiring clip, wiring cover, and close the front cover. You're now ready to install the outdoor heat pump condenser Choose the outdoor unit's location based on your home's structure, local codes, and convenience of installation. You can place the unit on a pad, mount it on an exterior wall using brackets, or place it on a rooftop. We're using a pad, the simplest and easiest method. The outside unit should be securely mounted with bolts through the footholes before making any connections. 
With the condenser securely mounted, you can make your outside connections. The air handler unit comes pressurized with nitrogen. You will hear this harmless gas release when you remove the plug. Connect the flared copper ends of the line set to the pipe joint connected to the air handler. Using the adjustable wrench to hold the piping joint and prevent twisting, place the torque wrench on the union nut and tighten to the settings specified in the manual. Next, connect the drain hose by push fit and secure with tape. Carefully bend the tube bundle to be flush with the wall, making sure not to crimp the copper or drain tubing. Line set covers are an optional accessory that hides the appearance of refrigerant lines and control wires. Mount the backing to your exterior wall, and once the lines are run, snap the covers in place. Next, remove the panel that covers the refrigerant valves and wiring connections. Some models may already have the valves exposed. Remove the protective screw caps from the valves. Now you can connect the pipe joint of the outdoor unit to the copper line set. Start the union nut by hand, then use the torque wrench, tightening to the specifications in your manual. Next, connect the multi-conductor wire that is run from the indoor air handler to the associated terminals on the outdoor unit. Double check the color coding to ensure the wires have been connected correctly. A trained professional is recommended to complete the installation at this point. If the copper pipes are not flared already, or if you wish to cut your line set to a shorter length, you will need to use a flare tool to create a new flare connection. Use a pipe cutter to cut the copper pipe to the desired length, and a shaper to deburr the cut. Be sure to put your union nut in place first. Then insert the end of the pipe into a flare tool. Improper flaring is the main reason for refrigerant leaks. Refer to your installation manual for more detail on making proper flare connections. Make sure the flare connection is not tilted, cracked, or otherwise damaged before connecting. The refrigerant system must be completely sealed in order for the system to perform properly. Start with a pressure test to check for leaks. Using a yellow jacket adapter will allow you to connect standard service equipment to the mini split service ports. Use dry nitrogen and pressurize the line set and air handler to 100 to 200 PSIG. Then, using a soap bubble solution, spray down all of the flare joints and watch for bubbles to appear. If bubbles are present, tighten the union nut or, if necessary, reflare the copper. Next, the technician will use a vacuum pump and gauges to remove all air and moisture prior to releasing refrigerant into the lines. After the vacuum is complete, close the manifold gauge valve. Use an adjustable wrench to remove the service valve caps and use an Allen wrench or hex key to fully open both service valves, releasing refrigerant into the system. The condenser requires 220 volt power from a dedicated circuit on your breaker panel, run through an exterior mounted manual disconnect box. A qualified technician should install the circuit breaker, disconnect box, and make a high voltage connection to the condenser. With the refrigerant released and all high and low voltage connections complete, it's time to power up the system and do the initial startup. Start the system with the remote and check for proper operation. Congratulations on completing your new installation. If you haven't already purchased yours, check out the Blue Ridge Mini Splits, available exclusively from www.alpinehomeair.com. Thousands of satisfied customers have made Blue Ridge the highest rated brand on the internet due to superior quality and factory direct pricing.